right, five minutes after 11 o'clock. You know that thing that you said you wouldn't do until pigs flew? Well, to, on, on Super yes. Bowl, they fly. <laughs> pigs fly. Pig skins fly. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a stretch, isn't it? Richard Ingram is on the phone. He's an award-winning celebrity chef. He's the private chef of NBA champion Chicago Bull basketball player Dwayne Wade, and he's the founder of the Chef RLI, a network of private chefs serving a plethora of NBA, NFL, MLB, and entertainment personalities. He's talking to us about celebrating the Super Bowl with some perfect pork recipes. Yeah. Richard Ingram. Good morning, Richard. How are you? Good morning. How are you? You took a deep breath right then. Well, because I went to your website, and this uh-huh. this stuff looks pretty good. Porkbeinspired.com. <laughs> this, oh my gosh. If you're not hungry, just look at this website. You'll get hungry. Right? Well, good. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, so how are you doing? Where are you calling from? I'm calling you this morning from Miami. From Miami. Nice. Oh, oh, good yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. are you are you ex- exclusively going to talk about pork today or anything else? Well, we know we, we, we want to talk about pork, but we could talk about a few things. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is Groundhog Day. So do you have any groundhog? <laughs> no. No. Not. no. 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 I don't mean the rodent. I don't mean the rodent. But I mean. <laughs> oh, like, okay. <laughs> like you know how you have ground beef. Mm-hmm. For hamburgers? Oh, okay. Yeah. How come we don't ever have groundhog like... Yeah, ugh. <laughs> well, like a hamburger. Oh, a hamburger. Wouldn't that make but, sense? You know, there, is, there, there definitely is ground pork now. That's what you I know, mean. We do have ground pork. You can do that, you know, and it's very flavorful as well, you know, and it's quick and easy and is a great value. And that's something that, you know, with my partnership with uh, the National Pork Board, which I'm, I'm so excited to be a part, uh, to be a part of this campaign the uh, Taste of Now campaign, and in talking about that, we are going to be talking about how flavorful pork is, how quick and easy it is to prepare, and the great value of it. And, and ground pork is a great value as well, just to get back to what you were talking and about. And when, when you think about the, the, the dishes that the average family probably has had that are pork-related, you think pork chops, what else do you think, Robert? Mm-hmm. Uh, pulled pork. Well, you think, you think, yeah, pulled pork, you think about ham, mm-hmm. things of that mm-hmm. nature. And uh, to be honest with you, pork even crust. your pork chops are great. Uh, they're very lean. Uh, another lean uh, uh, type of pork is your pork tenderloin. All of these things are, are great things to have uh, on a daily basis uh, for your family. They're nice and healthy. And especially with us exercising and going into our resolutions for the new year, everyone's trying to do a lifestyle change. What better way to do a lifestyle change to, than to include a lean uh, product of protein in your diet by including pork in that? Okay, so let's let's hear about some recipes. I, I I'm uh, being distracted by these pictures. This this is uh, really making me hungry. And, and this well, looks good. this looks healthy, but it looks good too, which is which is a good combination. It's the it looks like stuffed peppers. Is that was that what I'm looking at? I don't know. You may be looking at stuffed peppers before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so- but, uh, you know, for the big game that we're getting ready for, yeah. you know, one of the recipes that I like to go to would be the oven roasted back rib. And it's so flavorful. And then what we're doing is uh, we're roasting them, which is a great technique to use if you're trying to cut down on fat. Uh, and with this, what we're going to do is take paprika take some garlic, salt and pepper, and some other herbs and spices, put them together as a rub and rub them all over those ribs, and then put them in saran wrap, put them in the refrigerator, and let them marinate overnight. Now, once they marinate, then we'll pull them out, put them in the oven, and roast them. While they're roasting, then we'll make our sauce with ketchup, some mustard, some garlic, some brown sugar, and then once those ribs come out, We'll lather our ribs with that sauce, put them back in the oven, let that sauce caramelize along with, those, uh, along with our rub and the already great flavor and moisture that's found in those ribs, and you're ready for the big game. Oh, oh that sounds marvelous. Oh I love this recipe. Goodness, that does sound good. So, so, oh, so when you say rub, what, what is in the rub? Or, or is, is that a secret? Well, no, it's not a secret. No, you're going, in this particular rub, you have paprika, you have garlic, you have salt and pepper, uh, and like I said, a couple of other spices, and you mix all of those up together, and then you just basically rub it 
on top of the ribs and all under the bottom so that every piece of those, every, you know, surface of the rib gets touched by that rub. And then uh, the key is to wrap them in saran wrap and let them rest in the, in the uh, refrigerator ah, so okay. that all of that flavor can permeate inside of the ribs so that you get uh, the, all the best flavors. Oh, I'm going to make those for my mother. My mother loves ribs. Oh, you should. Yeah, you should. she just loves and that all quick, right and over. quick and easy. Mm -hmm. quick and easy. It doesn't take that long to make it all. Um, the website I'm looking at is porkbeinspired.com. Is, is, is that where we would go for the recipes that you're talking about today? Oh, yes. Now, if you, like I was getting, well, I wasn't getting ready to until you said it. But <laughs> uh, to, find more, <laughs> to find more recipes, uh, techniques, and to learn more about pork, you would go to porkbeinspired.com. Okay, what is this one? Schinken noodling. What is that? So, wh which one is that Sh now? It's got a big long word. Schinken noodling? <laughs> you don't know that? <laughs> no, I don't know which one you're talking about. Shinken, there. shinken noodling. I know. You're, you're looking at it, and I'm not looking at it. So I don't know. Uh, uh, how did you come about wanting to be inspired to be a chef? Because you really have a ultra celebrity status. Well, I've always loved cooking, um, ever since I was 10 years old. And uh, one of my greatest memories was actually uh, making a ham with my grandmother for Christmas. So mm -hmm. pork has oh, always sweet. been a part of our life. And, uh, you know, we've gone from thinking about pork <laughs> just for holidays with the big ham to now where it's an everyday uh, situation where we can include pork into our lives and uh, be healthy while eating pork as well. And do you advocate the use of the pork thermometer? I, I advocate the use of a thermometer. I definitely do, so that you will know. Because that's a that's a major question that a lot of people ask: is how do I know when pork is uh, cooked just to the right temperature? And I will let people know that you the temperature that you want to temperature range that you want to go through go to is between 145 and 160 degrees. That's when you know that pork is done. If you go over 160 degrees, it's going to be a little bit over, and you're risking it being dry and losing some of that great flavor. And if you go under 140 degrees, it's going to be raw. So you want to make sure that you cook it, as, uh, cook it all the way, but don't overdo it because you don't want to lose any of that great flavor. Um, Cuban style pork burgers. I can I can pronounce that one, and I and that looks like something I would like. I, I'm a pretty simple guy. I, I like things that look like hamburgers. So th this yeah. is, this is a real hamburger. It's really made out of ham. It, it, and let me tell you, that goes right back into what you were just saying about ground uh, about ground pork. This you can definitely make a, a burger out of ground pork. So there you go. What an honor to have Play, you on. on flavor a, it up just how you want to. Uh, I wanted to say thank you, Richard. I know uh, you're busy. I know you've got a lot of radio interviews. It's an honor to have you on our show. And uh, we will definitely uh, probably be eating a little bit better because of your, your visit here with us today. For sure. Go to pork. Thank you so much. Porkbeinspired.com. Richard Ingram, thank you so much. Have a great Super Bowl weekend. You do the same. And thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And we will be right back.